All right. You can continue now. If you are checking this out as a replay later, this is part of a longer stream. I just did a BRB. Just... Refresh a bit. All right. I think this one's my favorite one so far because it just seems to do an absurd amount of damage. Crawlchilla Echo. And enemies don't seem to defend well against it. Like, look at this. <laughs> It's pretty strong. Blink! Blink, are you there? There are so many monsters here. Fight them off of me, please! Oh, there's like side quests. Yeah, good luck. Wow, saving the day as always, the heroic... Huh? You're not Link. Sorry about that, the hood had me thinking it was someone else. Please forgive the confusion. My name's Verley, and I'm a resident of Southern Village. I set out to chop grass in my village, and before I knew it, I chopped my way through the Southern Prairie. While I was here, I figured I might as well get rid of the shrubs and make a little plot for myself. That was when the monsters appeared and, well, you know the rest. There's a lesson here, you should never get too absorbed in your work. I'd like to pay you back for saving me. It's not much, but I hope you'll take it. Hmm. Oh, Link, the person I mistook you for, he's a brave swordsman for uh, from Southern Village. He's been a light to us all. But right now, he's off fighting monsters. It's rare to see a young person with that sort of drive to help others. I hope he's doing well, wherever he might be. If you run into a swordsman wearing a hood and a green tunic, can you pass him a message? His friends in Southern Village will be there for him when he comes home. What are these signs? Wanted Princess Zelda decided to send a word to the King Viral. <laughs> I wish I could clone this sign. This Link sounds like a good guy. I hope they make a game for him at some point. Yeah, it would make certainly make for an interesting change of pace. I was going to say, he's trying to teach me that these spiders can climb. They don't, they just don't stand a chance against that. I don't, I don't think I'm going to change much, like, in terms of the enemies that I'm using. This one just seems to be insanely good already. Okay. Oh, but see, we got four now. We can do one more. Ah, you're kidding me. It's just too short. Um Okay, that's fine. I, I can I can do this. I need to do how I did this before, so it's like Um, right, now, get rid of this, the trampoline, okay. Okay. 
Oh, you can't get rid of it like that? That's interesting. But I want to get rid of it. Yeah, maybe this is not going to work out the way I want it to. There'll be a way to do this. This is this is insanity. And then <laughs> Okay, hang on. Oh come on, hang on. Get rid of that. I feel like that didn't help. Okay, so let's try this again. Now this. Now that. God. Okay. I feel like we're just one piece shy. Hang on, am I am I doing something funny here? No, no, the way to do it. And I know what to do. Let's reset it. Okay, now table. Table not allowed apparently. Rock. Okay, now tree. This is a little taller, and now up here. <laughs> okay. Now... This is so stupid, but I love it. Okay. I feel like there was probably an easier way to do this. I don't care. I did it my way. Like, there's probably some, some other way to have done this. Or maybe when you get five... With an extra piece, I would have done it easy. It's just obviously short one, but... <laughs> this is the sort of stuff I was looking forward to, is just... Being able to get to places that I probably shouldn't be able to get to right away. You know what? Probably using the tree as leverage would have been a good idea too. I bet that was the way to do it. Is like, okay, if I'm looking at like, if I'm looking at this, yeah. See, this would have let me get up here. Maybe. I'm not. I'm not gonna bother. But like, there's a way to do this. It's just. It seems like it would take longer. Or maybe an equal amount of time. What's this? Spuder. Spuder. Am I gonna have to do the same thing again? Okay, so... Bed. Bed. Tree. Stool. Stool. How did I do it before? Trampoline. Okay, there we go. Now. Okay, hang on. Start again. Bed. Bed. Trampoline. Tree. No. Stool. Tree. 
treat. Trampoline. <laughs> Bed. Hang on. Get rid of bed. Get rid of bed. It doesn't want to get rid of bed. Uh oh. That's gonna collapse. Um, I can still fix it. Still. Uh oh. Tree. Stool. Trample. What? Uh, what? No. That. Then that. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this is this is insanity. Tree. 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 No, this 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 is. I, I, can I keep climbing? Let's try rock. 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 Tri Damn it. I messed up. <laughs> we can get rid of that. Okay, it's it's not too bad. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. That breaks. Rock. Doesn't. Tree. Okay, that's better. Um, now. Rock. Rock. No, it breaks. Okay, no, but I'm still climbing. I'm still climbing. I think it's crate. The, the one that doesn't break is crate. Oh, dude, I just need... Okay, that. I feel like I'm, I'm gonna be short one no matter what. Oh, maybe not. Hang on. I wish there was something that was taller than that. It needs to be just... What, what did I just do? That would- that maybe would have worked. No, I'm, I'm making this so much worse. I don't think I can do this one. I think this one... Oh, hang... Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, hang on. There might be more to this. There might be more to this. Hang on. I forgot about... I forgot about that move. Okay, so let's start again. That. That. Three. It's too early for tree. This is just so dumb. Wait, and then... I forgot how I got up. Maybe it was bed. Hang on. Bed. Bed. 
then tree. Okay, there we go. Okay, got it. Bed, bed, stool, tree. Hey, got me. Bed, bed, trampoline. Tree. Okay, now. There's got to there's be like some combination here where this gets ridiculous enough to work. Too tall. What the hell? <laughs> Hang on. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I think... Okay, let me let me reset this. I think I've got the right idea. I just have to be... better at trying to achieve this. What on earth have I done? Ah, <laughs> oh, I dropped down. This is so funny how wild you can get with this. You know what? You know what the, the even sadder bit is? Is like, am I really going to this effort for that? Just that money there, like that? That's the that's the big reward for this. It's not even it's not even that worthwhile. But I feel like if I can, it's like a puzzle. I want to solve it. Oh my god. But then... Ah, oh, it falls down. No, but I can see, I can definitely do this. Look at this. Yep. And now it's... Okay. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I might be onto something here. That's fine. Okay. I just don't like that you can't pull it closer. God, it does, it does. Dude. Yep. I feel like this is the highest I've been with this. Hang on, I need it. A little bit closer. Okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> like, we're right here. Can I 
just grab the trampoline. Oh. No, 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 no. Alright, I give up. <laughs> There's a way to do it. <laughs> but it's, it's not worth the reward. There is a way to do it. I think if I pulled that top trampoline and stacked it on top of the other one, and then let the under part collapse and then pull another trampoline, like, it would have. There's a reality where I, I get that working. Just barely, but it's not worth the effort. No getting past that. All right. This is the shortcut back to the ranch. Who's the pranks that have blocked it off? I hope you're not planning to go this way. The road's blocked. I might consider taking another route, but that feels like admitting defeat. Oh, but see, these don't count as items, right? Hang on. So I should use these. My crates! Get him! Sorry, right, there's, there's more here. Um, I'll use the rock this time. You are in my way. Salta, <laughs> please. Okay, um, now, trampoline. Duh. <laughs> okay. Ten portions of rock salt. I wonder... hang on. I wonder if, like, some of these will lead to caves. Oh, you know what? I recognize this part of the map. It is kind of like the a link to the past map. It's not one to one, but there's definitely things that um I can remember. Okay, so we want to keep this. Yes. 
Not that this led to anything significant. I think I probably could have gotten up here anyway. Oh, maybe not. This, this might be worthwhile, you never know. Come on, reward, reward me. Oh, no, there is actually something up here. Um, I don't think I have anything to help me here, though. There's nothing I have that is an explosion of sorts. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Treasure. We'll see what else is up here while I'm here. It's a cave. Golden egg. This item can be used to recover hearts, but is more effective when mixed in a drink. I do appreciate that it has put things on high ground where you have to climb. <laughs> Probably an easy way to get up here overall, <laughs> but it felt good to climb up that way. What? Someone put the barricade back up? Oh, whatever. It's not my problem. I bet he put it up. Uh-oh. Defend me! Oh no, see, this is, um... Okay, now I know. There's gonna be stuff hidden. What is this? I don't think I have anything... I was thinking maybe water it, but I don't have anything that provides water. I have fire, I could burn it down. Okay, maybe it's nothing. This is definitely, um, probably not the way I should go. But since I'm, I'm on high ground, I may as well.
That seems normal. Okay, I... <laughs> just... How I'm traversing this is great. Well, this is where the rift is. Come on, there has to be something up here. Oh, hello. What is this? Hello, I'm the stamp guy. Ah. I love stamps since I was a tiny tot. Now I'm Hyrule's hugest stamp fan. But you're curious about this stand. This is a stamp stand, a stand for stamping stamps. Aren't stamps great? That plunk when you press one down. To leave a stamp behind. Plunktacular from start to finish. That's why I love a stamp rally. Traveling for stamps, collecting them all. Sounds fun, right? Well, I've created a stamp rally with stamp stands all over Hyrule. Ready to rally? I bet you're rally, rally, rally excited. Yeah, you are. Okay, here's your stamp card. This is a stamp card card for Rally Beginners. It was handmade by Stamp Guy and it looks like it. I know you're going to have fun because I've had fun making it. Now get us stamping like you've never stamped before. Great work. What a stamp. Look for stands like this all over the world and get every stamp. But hey, there aren't any stands underwater or in buildings. They're not in caves either. That'd be way too dangerous for my tastes. I'll give you a reward if you fill that card up with stamps. Push yourself to find them. Okay, all together now. Ready, set, go stamp rally. Right, so basically, <laughs> this is for people like me <laughs> that are just going to use the mechanics to climb to stupid spots, and this guy is going to be there as like a, oh, congratulations, why are you here? I don't think I can climb any higher. I think this is as far as I can get. At least with my current capabilities. Is this that much of a drop? Not really. Okay, I can climb back up here. Where am I? Oh no, I've clearly gone somewhere I'm not supposed to be. These things, this thing seems to be stronger than... Okay, got one. Mini Moldorum Echo. I mean, it'd be cool if um, it let you do sequence breaking.
Whom's to you? Hi. Hi, hey, hi, and hello. Acorn gathering, give it a go. Fun to snag and fun to bag. Gathering acorns is never a drag. All you gotta do is pick up the acorns that I scatter about. If you're fast, you'll even get a prize. Okay. Whoa, okay. Oh, damn. Oh, you idiots! What have you done? Way to complicate it. It's actually simple. I made it. I made it hard. Wait, was <laughs> the sound effect? <laughs> like, oh, you idiots! Well done. You complicated the most simple thing, dude. Why is it aiming backwards? Analog stick, please. Where's this last one? What? Where's the last one? Oh, there. Wow. Okay, I can do better. Let's go. I put too many beds down, that was my problem. I'll just skip it, I know where they are. This animal- dude, I think my control is broken. It keeps, when I flick it in one direction, it just decides to undo it. Oh, what's that? A Nintendo controller drifting? That never happens. Okay. The court case said that Nintendo controllers don't drift. It's all our imagination. I'm not gonna make it, like... I got stalled majorly. Yeah, I could have done that. Better, but... Need to get better at it. this one first. Alright, 
I don't know why I'm doing this. This is bad. Actually, not really. Mini Moldon! Dude. Oh, the targeting. Fuck the targeting. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm holding the analog stick up to go target these rocks, and it's like, Nah, you want to target the enemy! Yeah, good. No, nice work. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna win. Like, it actually didn't- it actually didn't let me target the rock. It kept auto-locking to the enemy, despite the rock being directly in front of me. Okay, preempt this. Pretty evil that it does that. Wait, are you watching this? Like, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, I think my control is drifting. Look at this. This is me pressing right. This is me pressing left. This is me pressing right. Right, 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 right. Left, 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 right. It's drifting. Cool. Second, second pro controller that started doing this, by the way. I just don't get how I have controllers from the PS1 and PS2 era that have had more use than this thing. And they still work. It's like every controller this current generation is just absolute garbage. Like, eventually, they all start doing this. And they haven't, like, modified the manufacturing of them. I mean, planned obsolescence, right? But it's so irritating, man. Okay, well, they're taking care of one another. Where did I miss one? Oh! Got it. <laughs> oh. Nice work, you got all the icons. Time was that. You're amazing. Alright then, prize time. <clears throat> um, so... Here's, here's the thing. I spent 30 to get 20. <laughs> so I lost 10 rupees overall. I lost 10 rupees overall. To add insult to injuries. I think I actually lost more rupees than that. But I'm going to pretend that it was only 10. It's certainly a neat diversion. I have gone way off course here. Sick him.
This thing is so good. The fact that it floats as well is just the best part of it. It's got really good AI. Just didn't see it coming. Saying this is shadow. Oh, what are you? Whatever you are, you'll be mine. Protect me. I feel like this bird's gonna be. Ugh! Damn it. This bird's probably gonna be a good one to have. It feels like it's very aggressive for what it is. There we go. I use here. I don't know if Sword Moblin's gonna be useful. Like, it has to be. Gotta be you. This bird's got a lot of health. Mine. Yeah, this bird is is a it costs three to summon the bird. That's probably legit. Let's see. the feeling that I can actually freely explore this as, as, as much as I want and it telling me to go down there is just a formality. Oh, we're in Kakariko. Yeah. Just about any town you go to you'll find a shop with its own unique goods. When I go to a new place I always make a point of hitting up the local shop. Is this Hi. climbing band, a weather band, climb ladders and rocks faster. Not enough. Hmm. <laughs> Since I lost the fairy that I had in it, I'll get a potion. Keep that in mind. I've definitely strayed. 
Bok Bok, come back. Hey, could you lend me a hand? For some reason, my dear sweet cuckoos have decided to escape over the fence this morning. They're running away from me, the little rebels, and we're getting along so well. If you manage to get a hold of my cuckoos, can you put them back in this pen? There are five in total. Please, I need your help. Classic. <laughs> I love how non none of them have clicked with the sign. This is enough to make sure that no one recognizes me. Silly. Uh. Oh, what have I done? That's not solving. Okay. Here too. Oh. No, what? How? How? It's a dog. Oh. No, it's a cat. It looks like a dog. I thought it was like a terrier. I'm blowing hard to make the windmill spin. I thought it was like a terrier. I guess it's a cat. Oh. Thank goodness, you brought all my dear sweet cookers home. I'm so grateful. Please come this way. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad my cookers are all back. As for why they ran away in the first place, I think the refreshing grapes I gave them for breakfast might have been too sour. Aww. My darlings can be rather picky eaters. Anyway, thank you. Here's a little reward for helping me and my little scamps. Okay, no, this was worth it. Hi. By the way, did you know, if you lift a cooker over your head and jump from a high place, you'll glide through the air. Really, I suppose you could do that with any winged creature. Can I make a... an echo? No. Could that be used for, like, chicken on demand? Being able to summon a chicken. What is this, though? Chicken on demand sounds delicious. Not gonna lie, if I had a one that could summon chicken. I'm a regular here. You'll get compliments for the way you sleep. Sometimes they even give you stuff. I love it here. Even my friends think this place is kind of fishy. Oh, you need to recruit? Don't answer yet. First, put on your listening ears. 
You are in the slumber dojo. The only dojo where you can train via dreams. You know, I know, I know, training makes it sound like a spiritual journey or whatever, but it's real simple. First, I show you a dream, an astounding dream based on your life. Then within that dream, you defeat all the first two trying to get you. That's the whole training. Each training session has a goal time. Beat the goal and I'll have a special reward. The best part is, since it's all in your dreams, you wake up without a scratch every time. But hold on. Join up now and all your training sessions are free of charge. You're thinking, where do I sign? But there's even more. If you keep at your training, there will be an astounding reward as proof of your skill. Ho ho ho. Alright, are you ready to do some training or are you ready to do some training? Alright. Ooh, you will, then you are now an official student of the Slumber Dojo. Let's get training right away. Here's our menu of dream options. Interesting. Close your eyes. Feel the energy flowing within you. Ah! For this training, all you have is your rod. Your experience and inventory will be sealed off ready. Oh! Interesting. This is cool. Done in 36 seconds. Lickety split. You're even faster than the goal time. That was great slumbering. Okay, I mean, it's crafting materials. And speed like that makes you quite the power napper. Performance like that deserves a special reward. Okay. Well, astounding reward. What's the astounding reward? This one looks interesting. It's a bunch of armadillos. What on earth? Oh. No, but can I just... I'm gonna let this bird go go nuts. Oh no, the bird the bird is like It's not really helping, is it? I'm not sure how to beat this one. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, see, that would have helped. I bricked this one pretty hard. There's no quick restart. All 
it's still the best way. Still the best one. I just... I messed up. I didn't even think about pressing the button behind me. I can beat this one. It's bad. Do it again. Summon. Get him. Get Should be okay. This one's MVP for this one. Resetting it. Come on. Get him. Nice. Was that the big reward he was talking about? I don't know that was worth it. 100% worth it. How do I know what the amazing time is? It doesn't tell me. I'll leave it for now. It's just a bonus reward. Alright, I mean, it had a heart piece behind it. I'm happy about that. Whoa, Link. Oh, sorry, you're not Link. I got confused because of your hood. I'm hoping one of these houses has something. Well, Link, welcome. Oh, sorry, that hood looks like Link's. He's the young man who saved my children. So about Link. Wow, quite the tale. He's gone missing. A young man once saved my kids from getting caught in a rift. And he used to drop by the village to weed out monsters. In short, he's been a huge help to all of us here. Hate to think of anything bad happening to him. Wherever he is, I hope he's okay. That cake looks good. I figured. That's oh, just grapes. Ah, <laughs> uh, I thought it was B. It would be a heart piece. Oh well. Is there such a thing as going in the chimney? No. Oh, sorry, my little brother. Would you please leave him alone? He was stolen away and he's been like that ever since he returned. The doctor basically threw his hands up, but he'll get better someday. I know he will. Yeah. Did you hear? the? Pr it's the princess who created the rifts. That's why they're tracking her down. I hope they catch us soon. I don't want any more people to get stolen away. I thought for a sec it was like the the kid that was sick. And then he, he gives you the uh, the net. 
That's not what I was trying to do. I have to check. <laughs> There's no dumpy either. Yeah. Careful. The past here is Elden Volcano. It's absolutely packed with monsters. Much as I'd love to climb it, I don't want to contend with its dangers. Ah. Should I go back to the path or should I just keep venturing? I'm kind of curious to see if I can go into a dungeon later, but I imagine it's going to do something like it'll gate it off by the amount of beds I can place. Take on Cather and give it a go. Oh. No, I'm good. Um, I'm gonna go back the way I came. This was a neat little detour, though. I did not see that before. Beesh. Okay, we need to help. Is that- I was gonna say, is this fish gonna destroy my bed? Oh. I don't know what I was thinking there. What about tree? Okay, that worked. Sort of. Oh, what happened? Hang on, this is gonna sink. Okay, it sunk very slowly. <laughs> nice. I wonder if these are random or if they're in set spots. That is a little concerning. I was kind of just spinning. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, but like... <laughs> yep. 
this is gonna be fun. this. That doesn't bring it higher. Okay, but I mean, as long as this acts as like a a way to get up higher, I'm okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Meat. Why is this here? Maybe it was intended for me to get up there and then the mate to distract them. If I, I guess if I didn't have the mate echo, that's probably why that's the... I guess I gotta keep that in mind. Is Maybe it's just scattered echoes across the land. See, now I gotta spin everywhere. What is this? It's playing this probably at a weird point. I feel like I should have entered from another angle, but that's fine. Oh, that, was, that looks nice. I'm sure there's a rift we can get into somewhere around here. But this desert's really big. I wonder where we should start looking. I guess we should check around the area with the biggest rift. Oh, you, you, you mean here? You mean, you mean here? You mean, you mean right? Oh no, that's not true. <laughs> There's one to the south. Okay. Fine. I concede. I'm probably going at this in reverse. Interesting. Beetle mound. And then you can learn the individual beetle. If you learn the mound, wouldn't that cover the beetle? I guess that's the ultimate reward. number of echoes is, is cool, <laughs> but I've, I've found my favorite already. Like, this one is just too invaluable. Oh, 
It just seems to be significantly better than most of the ones I've come across. Monster stone, okay. I want to get this fish. Okay, you're mine. Oh, it's not quicksand, but it's, it's definitely not great. I make this an I guess not. Nice. What is that? Okay, we've arrived in the Gerudo town. The waypoint's somewhere around here. Where I'm supposed to be continuing. I bet if I go there, it's gonna be like, get to the Gerudo town. Where, where, where? The set doesn't know, and she's the chief's aide. So where are they? Oh. oh, just muttering to myself. Sorry about that. I'm Tormali, an Oasis guard. Guarding the Oasis is my main priority, but I've been tasked with another mission recently. Okay. I take it you're not from there, are you? Which, in, in which case, you might be able to help me. Okay. In your travels, have you ever seen tiles that can fly through the air? Tiles? According to my boss's research, ancient Gerudo used them to chase off unwelcome guests. Oh! Those things. Right. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I've been scour scouring the desert in search of these tiles, but so far nothing. Oh. Okay. Well. Oh. Hey there, I'm a business scrub. Welcome to my branch of the smoothie shop. This is a place where you can craft your own freezing taste bud pleasing smoothies. The process is simple. Pick two ingredients, I'll blend them together. So come on now. Okay. Um. I, you know, I thought I was, <laughs> so this is butter and then I thought this was meat. <laughs> it's like, hell yeah. Protein smoothie. No, it's salt. Butter and salt smoothie. Can I really do this? Butter and small. All right. Would <laughs> butter. And... <laughs> I'm sorry. This <laughs> is. I'm gonna make a smoothie out of butter and salt. Oh, dude. A salted radiant smoothie. I mean, I would imagine that sh that would be like really salty. Even if it was unsalted butter. My siblings and I are new to the smoothie game. 
and keep hold over the market, we're opening branches all over Hyrule. But that's been so much work, we haven't had the time to come up with new smoothie concepts. So what do you say to a joint venture? You make recipes, we handle the business side. Come up with 10 recipes out of ingredients for your travels and we should be in good shape. We'll even throw in a reward. Before you go, my siblings are running smoothie shops in other places too. We're all sending ingredients from our local regions to the main shop back home. If you run into any of my siblings, give them my best, okay? I mean, getting 10 is pretty easy. That one actually looks good. Can't say much about the butter smoothie. Pepper and butter. I'm drinking chili oil. <laughs> Oh, an unfortunate smoothie. Oh no, this is actually horrible. So you're telling me chili and butter doesn't work, but then butter and salt works? What do you mean? Maybe it's not easy to do it. Um, refreshing grapes and butter. Butter grape. Okay, I think I should stop. It seems like I found the combos I can find. Okay, that's funny. The way they react to it. Uh. Not every day I see another Hylian in Gerudo Desert. If you're wondering about that tent, there's a Gerudo researching something or other in there. I'm sure she could use a hand. If you felt inclined, maybe help take your mind off all these rifts. I can't believe the butter and salt was more edible than but like um chili. And butter. What, 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 what do you mean? Oh. The monsters just keep coming. I'm completely worn out. Uh. I hear you, but if we keep at it, then that big rift should start shrinking. Oh. We can do this. We'll get rid of that rift and take back Gerudo Sanctum. Yeah. Rift have shown up all across the desert ever since our Sanctum got pulled into one. I'm still in shock about the Sanctum. We've got to get rid of the rifts as soon as possible. Hi. Yeah. Our town is west of here. Alright, but... I mean, I guess this is where it wants me to go. Scorpion. Sounds like Mepha's music. Mepha? Not a not Urbosa? I don't remember, to be honest. Oh, that scorpion.
This is really cool, though. Reminds you of me for more. Yeah, I, I mean, it's been a minute since I played Breath of the Wild, so... That's the thing about Breath of the Wild's soundtrack, is like... The majority of it, it's not really memorable. It's just, I know, it's just background noise. Um, but there are ones that are genuinely good, right? It's just, I, for the life of me, I'm blanking out on what Mifa's one is. Top tier bed arrangement. Oh, this is where I started, isn't it? Guess we have to go to the actual big rift. Oh, these things are in the game. Okay, well with these I know we should be using fire. Get lit on fire. I thought fire was super effective against these things. Am I wrong? How about some barbecued fish? Oh, you can do multiple. I don't know what I was just doing one for. Redead. I thought they were called something else. I thought they were called Gibdos, no? kind of pot what's the difference like well how is this different from the other pot i have this just feels like flutter oh you can learn okay this is cool you can learn these Okay, this is pretty neat. You know I'm gonna get creative with this. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna use this as a way to defeat enemies as well. Oh, what have I done? Whoops. Help me.
Yeah, no, thank you. These things are probably useful against the, uh, the sand enemies. Rock potatoes. There's another smoothie. I swear if butter and potatoes make a better smoothie. <laughs> Just... Oh, they work against this stuff too. That's cool. Oh, this is better than the gun. Bet I could probably upgrade the sword. I imagine the first one's gonna be um, relatively low cost. Me defended. All right, we're here. Huh? My friends are nearby. I can create a rift. Entrance beneath here. Come on, Zelda. Oh. You can't move with me, can you? So, what do we do? We could try talking to her. Maybe she knows a way you can get through the sand. Mm. Ugh, you're not a Gerudo. What do you want? Get through the sand? Uh, no, you aren't getting past me. Only those authorized by our chief are allowed entry. Now go home. I don't think she's going to move. What was that? Is someone hurt? I have to stay at my post, otherwise I'd go see what's going on. Is she okay? We'll be okay. This thing is too good. <laughs> uh, what happened? The monsters. They're gone? Did you defeat them for me? It seems they pose no threat to you, and yet I, a seasoned warrior, couldn't handle them. Thank you, you saved my life. Ah, I suppose I should introduce myself. I am Dona. Or Donna? The captain of the Gerudo Warriors. What's your name? Huh? Nice to meet you, Zelda. So what brings you out this way? Ooh. Hmm, I see, I see. You're traveling around, fixing rifts. Uh-huh. You're fixing rifts! Pardon my shock, it's just that the rifts have been causing us serious trouble lately. We heard that taking care of the monsters would be... Uh, would also take care of the rifts, but it hasn't. The rifts haven't gotten any smaller, and the monsters keep coming, without end it seems. If we could rid ourselves of these cursed rifts, 
then nobody else would end up getting hurt. Hey Zelda, do you think she might know how to get you under the sand? Is everything alright, Zelda? You want to burrow under the sand? Hmm, well, the sanctum is beneath us. I understand now. You think you can get rid of the rift if you get into the sanctum? Normally the entrance to the sanctum is where we're standing. But, as you've probably noticed, it's flooded with sand now, so nobody can get inside. If you want to get into the sanctum, we'd need to clear out the entrance. Why is it blocked up? The sanctum was pulled into a large rift. After that, tons of monsters began swarming out of the entrance of the sanctum. At that point, we blocked the entrance, trapping the monsters inside. If you want to get in the sanctum, how do we clear it? The soldier guarding the back entrance. If we go through there, we should clear the sand out. Good. Of course, doing that would release the monsters as well. Our chief gave us orders to keep it blocked for safety, so I'm not sure how to proceed. If you want to get into the sanctum, we need to clear the end. Okay, I see. Understood. Well, then it sounds like we need to discuss things with the chief. You saved my life, so all I, I'll do all I can to help you. And if you're able to get rid of that rift, that means our warriors won't be injured anymore. Let's meet up at the palace in Gerudo Town. It's northwest of here. Normally, Gerudo are only allowed in the palace, but I'll put in a word for you ahead of time. Alright, Zelda, I'll be waiting for you there. Yep. Oh, it's not even anywhere near the town. This is its own thing. I'm trying to hit that as best as I can. Sometimes it just doesn't target as best as I'd want it to. I'm sure this isn't dangerous, right? Yeah, it's not dangerous. We're fine. We're fine. I suppose I should check those sand dunes. I think the gun is a little easier. Oh, but you know what? It's the hairdryer. <laughs> it's the hairdryer. Why doesn't it affect them? Nice try. That, to me... Yeah, figured. I love how the scorpions prioritize the beds. They know what's going on. Okay, this is the palace here. But I mean, we're kind of going in the back way. Multiple quests here. Yeah. Oh, highly, and I'm impressed you made it all the way here through the desert. You must be quite the explorer to come all this way, which reminds me. Oh. I'm looking for these elusive tumbleweeds. Maybe you've seen them in your travels. If you can find them blowing across... Oh, you can find them blowing across the sand here in Gerudo. But the pesky things roll out of reach. If you try to grab one, they fall apart. The more I think about how elusive they are, the more obsessed I get. All I want is to spend my time observing one of these tumbleweeds closely. But I've managed to destroy every one I've found. My dream to observe them is so out of reach. If you bring me my heart's desire, you will be rewarded. 
Hello there, highly and curious about me? I'm one of the many Gerudo soldiers. I'm off duty at the moment, but that doesn't mean I'm going to slack on my training. My confidence comes from my agility and grace. Behold my skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's with the blank expression? It's almost as if you don't find me impressive. Well then, I'll prove my skill to you hand to hand. Tag. So ready to play tag? All right. Let the game begin. Can I use stuff against her? Uh. Alright then, I'm gonna get running now. If you tag me, you win. You can even block the path, everyone. Come on, let's get going. Oh, I can block the path, you say. And I'm going to be, like, meta about this. Okay, don't move. Good luck. What? So fast? Even faster than me? Impossible. I think I got it. <laughs> I almost pressed the wrong button. My, my, you are indeed very capable. Your legs carry you like one who's traveled across many regions. Ah, you inspired me. Here you are, as promised. You got six pieces of chili cactus. This item can be used to recover hearts. All right. More smoothie stuff. I'll keep training until I'm an invincible warrior. Thank you for the inspiration. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This is funny. <laughs> I love their facial expressions. This still begs the question, like, what is the difference between the Gerudo pot and the standard pot, you know? What is the difference? Feels like clutter. Does a Gerudo pot deal water damage? <laughs> okay, this might sound a little odd, but do you believe in tornado guys? I see... See, I got caught up in a sandstorm recently when this tornado came, comes whirling at me. Hard to see what it was clearly with all the sand, but I swear I could see a face in the tornado. That's a bean of ghost, but why would it be chasing me? Did I anger the spirits or something? Was it real? Did I imagine it? If I could see it again, I'd know for sure. You mean this? G -g ghost Wait, it's not a ghost or a tornado, it's a monster called the Tornando? Actually, now that I get closer look at it, it doesn't even look like a ghost, does it? It just chased me because it wanted to send me flying across the desert. I, I didn't anger any spirits. I've really been overthinking things. Well, that clears things up, I suppose. Thank you so much for helping me out. Here you go. Milk. That makes sense. How can I call myself a Gerudo when I'm so spooked by something that wasn't even a ghost? I find... If the chief finds out how easily spooked I am, I'll get a real talking to. But I mean, we're all scared of something. Can't really fault the person for having fears. Fire! I can't wait to play the new Mario and Luigi game. <laughs> I swear if they don't say fire or thunder, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Thunder! Is this going to be a thing? Lighting all the torches gives you something. I think that's next month. 
or the month after. It's there's just a lot releasing at the moment. I guess I'll go try and catch a tumbleweed. Oh no, I have to be really gentle with it. How am I going to drag one into town, though? Okay, there we go. Ooh. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> okay, do it again. As close as I can be to it. There you go. You brought me one. Thank you so, so much. Ah, seeing the delicate dried foliage explains why they tend to break so easily. No, wait. It's not dried. It's, this is just a particular type of plant matter. What are these pet pokey bits? Ah, the more I look at it, the more fascinating it is. I could spend all day gazing at this beautiful, magnificent tumbleweed. My dream has come true. My wish granted. Thank you, kind one. Please take these. Okay. They have such peculiar shapes, don't they? I hope you enjoy observing them for many hours. Um. Okay. We are allowed in. Oh yeah, now this really looks like the the one in Breath of the Wild. The set, Chief Sarah, Sarah. I have a report concerning the blocked up entrance to the Sanctum. As predicted, the number of monsters is dwindling. Yeah. Ah, Zelda. I've been waiting for you. Huh. Chief, this is the Hylian I was telling you about. With her help, we may be able to get rid of the giant rift here in our desert. But in order to do that, she'll need to get into the Sanctum. If she can get rid of the rift as she claims, we'll finally be done with this long battle. To this end, will you please restore the entrance to the Sanctum? Hmm. Captain Doma, do you comp comprehend what you're asking? If you recall, after the Sanctum was consumed by the Rift, the surge in monsters began. For the town's safety, we blocked the Sanctum's entrance to prevent monsters from pouring out. Since then, we've been eradicating the rest of the monsters, which will fix the Rift. After that, we'll reclaim the Sanctum. That was the plan. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, Facet. Many of my warriors have been injured, and the monsters keep coming. To top it off... We've defeated countless monsters, yet the rift doesn't appear to be shrinking at all. We should be acting with urgency to be rid of the rift as soon as possible, and Zelda can help. You can't expect us to trust a local, a total stranger, jeez. We don't even know where she comes from. You're the chief's daughter, I'm shocked by your severe lack of judgement. Peace, Facet. Pardon my words, Chief Sarah, but I... Dona, I understand the concern you feel for the warriors. I feel each injury to our warriors as though it was my own. That said, have you seen this highly an eradicator rift? I... You have only just met this stranger yourself. How can you tell us to trust her? Well, I... Chief Sarah, it seems further discussion is unnecessary. Now is not the time to be entertaining strangers and their claims. I will prove what Zelda says is true. You will be wasting your time. This Hylian is clearly deceiving you. She saved my life. How dare you speak of her like that? I trust Zelda and I will prove that she can get rid of the rifts. No matter how many monsters they fight, the rift isn't going to go away on its own. 
Dana is correct about this, so why don't they trust us? Allow me to show the extent of my powers. Behold! Oh, no, no, no reaction, just unimpressed. Not even a gasp. You there, Hylian! Uh. Captain Dona left a message for you on her way out. You mentioned that she's headed to the Oasis. She'd like you to join her there. To get to the Oasis, head due east when you leave town. Can't miss it. That's all she's shared for, for you. Oh. Convenient. Oh, wait, is there a... Hang on, is there a warp? Surely there's a warp for here. Or is, is that too convenient? <laughs> I can't help myself. Oh, hello. Can I harm these things like this? I cannot. Um... Interesting. This is cool. Galaxy brain. Oh, it's not allowed? Really? There we go. I thought so. That's smart. Okay, I feel proud of this heart piece. <laughs> There's probably a way to get even further up. Oh no, never mind. That's it. I don't think that I can get one to defeat the other. What is this? I think it's just a random stump. Um, I guess I can just do this.
So none of the rifts are shrinking yet, I see. Thank you for your report. Get some rest before you return to patrol the rifts. Thank you for coming, Zelda. Let's talk over here. Ah. The water here is so beautiful, don't you think? This place holds many memories for me. Uh. The chief, my mother, used to play here with me when I was little. She would tell me to look at the serene water, keep my mind clear and heart, oh, my mind and heart clear like the water, jeez. Cassette took up my training rather than my mother because mother was busy as chief. The set trained the others too. Thanks to her and mother, we are the Gerudo you see today. I have so much respect for the both of them, but I can't stand by and watch things get worse. Ooh. I believe you can fix the rifts, Zelda. And so I wonder how we can prove to my mother and Facet that you're being honest. Aside from the big rift at the Sanctum, there are also three small rifts elsewhere in the desert. I'd like for you to see if you can get rid of any of them. This is going to be a whole thing. Southern Oasis Ruins, Ancestors, Cave of Rest, Southern Gerudo Desert. I'm good. We'll figure it out. I trust you, Zelda, and if you get rid of that, a rift, I'm sure the Chief will trust you too. I want the log. Um, okay. They're all kind of equal distance. Didn't do much damage. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to use Link mode. <laughs> it's just, you know, I think this is gonna be more fun just using Zelda's combat skills. You know what I mean? That was more fun than just doing uh, this fight as Link. Well, this looks like, oh, I guess it's over here. The Ancestor's Cave of Rest. The torches here have all gone out. What am I to do? Okay. That the Ancestor won't be able to rest peacefully. I got this, yo. Oh. Is it really not allowed? Hang on. Which one looks like? Yep. 
I know what it wants me to do. This I'm I'm certain of, but However. This analog stick is driving me crazy. Oh, I messed it up. Alright, doesn't matter. <laughs> Just cut through. This thing is just, it's far too good. <laughs> Interesting. What's with the sand? That thing would help for sure. Maybe there's another ladder somewhere. I'm going to try something really stupid. Whatever. <laughs> That's an invisible wall. Boo! <laughs> of all the shit. Alright, I mean, there has to be a solution then, so what, what am I doing? What could help me here? Ah! Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. Actually, very cool. I guess that's there in case you don't have that power. Which kind of leads me to believe that this could potentially be done in a non-linear way. Oh. 
Ah, peace once more. Uh. I don't believe I've seen you before. Well, thank you for lighting the torches. <laughs> With the fires burning, we can rest peacefully now. Yeah. Please go tell my descendant that all is well. Wait, this is a ghost? The torches are lit again? Ah, they are. Yeah. So, you lit them, but how? You found a secret passageway to the grave. I didn't know one existed. And the Gerudo over there wanted you to talk to me? That's so weird. I thought I was the only one here. Well, anyway, thanks for the help. I really appreciate it. I'm sure the ancestors are happy too. Thank you. I'm not seeing anywhere I can create an opening into the rift, so we won't be able to get in here. It's going to make me do all three. That's the reality of it. Wait, I went in here though. This is not going to work. I don't know how I got up there. Anyway, leave it. Right, what is this? Okay, um, I guess this is the closest. Hey, are you hanging in there? Yes, yeah, sort of. Actually, no. No, I'm not. We're defeating wave after wave of these things, but they keep coming. Uh -huh. Hmm? When did you get here? It's not safe here. Monsters keep coming after us. <laughs> Just like that, huh? My muscles are locking up at this point. This will be fine. Oh no, there's these things. I mean, this is still effective. Wow, you're pretty strong, girl. <laughs> I can't believe we're the ones being saved. Well, at least the monsters seem to stop... seem to be mopped up for the time being. Now, if the rift will just go away. I'm all worn out from all the relentless fighting. Let's take a break for a bit. Thank you for helping us. You're a lifesaver. I can't create a rift entrance here. But we won't be able to get into this one. No, of course not, because the player must do all three. to fight. Ugh. Water. 
Oh well, no, what's wrong? We've been keeping post here at the Rift without any rest. And we ran out of water while fighting the monsters. We're about ready to collapse. I'm so thirsty I can't even move anymore. You've got to drink something right away. Water won't be enough. You need a drink that can both hydrate and provide you nutrients. I know, Zelda. Can you run to the smoothie shop and buy a cactus smoothie? We'll make one for you if you give them a two chili cacti here. Damn it! That's... <laughs> Is there a, at least a waypoint here? Oh, there is one. Okay, then this is fine. Buy a smoothie. Yeah, yeah, just do it. <laughs> Refreshing smoothie. Refreshing mixed smoothie. Let me try two pepper. That's a new one. It's a double grape. Oh, that's a refreshing one. What about potato milk? Everyone loves potato milk. Okay, I mean, it did work. There's no way salty milk works. What about that? Yeah, there's not that many combinations. Seems like one of the ingredients takes priority over others. I feel rejuvenated. Oh, I feel so much better already. Thank you. Now we can get back to patrolling. Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're all feeling refreshed. There's nowhere here for me to create an entrance. What? How's it going? Were you able to get rid of any of the rifts? None of them have it. Oh, you couldn't get rid of any of them. Which means getting you into the sanctum is the only way to solve things. But we don't have any way to do that right now. Captain Donor, we received a message from Lady Facet. She wants to know whether or not you've been able to see evidence of Zelda's powers yet. She commands that you bring the Hylian and provide her a status update. Uh. So be it. Uh. We haven't found a way to prove your ability yet, but we'd better go and check in regardless. I'll go ahead to the palace. Come meet me there later. Hey, Nick. <laughs> Thanks for the, uh, the sub. Appreciate it a lot. Man, 63. That's a long time. Oh, I was trying to go to... Hang on. That. Yes, I'm going to be lazy. 
I probably could have walked. By the time the animation played, <laughs> I probably could have walked. Uh. <laughs> Tell us, Captain Dona, have you managed to find proof that she can fix the rifts? No, not yet, but it, if you would listen to what she has to say, then you'll... So you have returned to us with nothing after swearing you would find proof of her capabilities. Clearly this is some kind of joke. This stranger has you entirely deceived. Yeah. No, she doesn't. For what reason would she be deceiving me? To what end? Huh? She's been working with me to prove that she can get rid of the rifts since we last spoke. Would she be running all over the desert like that to simply have a laugh at my expense? I know she's telling the truth, and I'm willing to give her the opportunity to prove it to you two. I can't stand by while my warriors, my friends, are being wounded on the battlefield. I trust Zelda and I know she can get rid of... Oh, I trust Zelda and I know she can get rid of the rifts. We just have to give her the chance. I'll take full responsibility for what happens. Please, Chief Sera, let us enter the Sanctum. Dona, if you are willing to risk your honor as a warrior to place... <laughs> you are willing to risk your honor as a warrior to place your trust in this person. I can't read anymore. Huh? I am? It's like midnight brain has kicked in. <laughs> You've grown so strong, my daughter. I too can no longer stand by while my people suffer. Seeing you put your honor on the line inspires me to place my own trust in this person. Oh. Chief Siri, you can't be serious. If we remove the sand from the sanctum, we will once again be overwhelmed by monsters. Do you forget that I am a warrior for Set? I will hold the monsters at bay. You're being ridiculous. You really think you can hold back waves of monsters on your own? She won't be on her own. Huh? Why are you here? We overheard your discussion. Chief Sira, Lady for Set, this young lady has helped all of us. She helped me at the cave of our ancestors. She aided us all as well. If she's able to rid us of these horrible rifts, then we'll do all we can to support her. Ooh. Captain Dona, we stand at your side. Hmm. Hmm. Set, you heard our warriors. Are you now willing to hear the Zelda out? Oh. Of course not. What are you saying? What a wretched excuse for a chief. She's trying to deceive you. To take advantage of you. Can you not see her true character? <laughs> Guards, this girl has ill intentions and is here to deceive us, Gerudo. Throw her in jail at once. Beset, what are you doing? <gasps> Chief Sira, we got trouble. What is it? A rift at the ruins in the eastern desert grew and a bunch of our warriors were taken by it. No. Take me there at once, soldier. <laughs> yes, Chief Sira. Onward, warriors! Of course, Chief Sira. Chief Sira, please, you must wait. You can't go rushing into the fray like this. So ill-equipped. The rift expanded. I might be able to create an entrance there, then. Let's follow them. I mean, I feel like I, I probably should have just come here directly <laughs> instead of all that wandering I did. That's fine. Where'd they go? Over there. This one is definitely... There's a lot of go here, now go here, now go here. Mm -hmm. Our warriors are inside this rift. Yeah. Don't get too close. <laughs> We've got to save them, but how? 
Beset, follow your counsel. We have tirelessly, tirelessly worked to defeat the monsters. Tell me then, why is this rift gotten bigger? Perhaps we have yet to defeat enough monsters. Chief Sira, it's dangerous here. Let us return to the palace with haste. Don't be absurd. Our soldiers have been taken. Do you really think I'd leave them behind? Well, I... Okay, let's do this. Zelda, is that... You can enter the rift here and get rid of it, and you'll be able to get my friends out too? Wow, thank goodness. Please do whatever you need to do. This is the still world, but this area isn't connected to a big rift. Even so, I can sense my friends here. They're not moving at all. I get the feeling they're trapped or something. If we rescue them, we might be able to rend the rift. I can sense my friends in five different areas. They are somewhere in this area here. Let's find them and rescue them. Oh, this is different. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm having fun with this, for sure. Like, I'm enjoying myself. But I, the thing of biggest note is, like, the hand-holding is, is unreal in this one. Or at least, it, I guess it's not hand-holding so much. It's just, like, really, like, go here, now go there, now go there, now go here. Like, it's just... It's definitely not what I'm used to. It's not so much like a comment on the quality of the game, it's more something I wish wasn't as much of a thing as it is. As long as it doesn't get as bad as it did in Pokemon Sword and Shield, I'll, I'll be okay. But I think that's my biggest critique of this uh, so far, is just that aspect. Um, can I make it across this gap? I'm not sure I can. Oh shit. Oh, it doesn't cost you. It doesn't cost you life. Okay, go back. Well, that's nice. Oh, whoa, okay. I just clicked what's going on here. That's interesting. gonna sink in one turn. <laughs> I can damage it like that, that's funny. Um no, even the crate breaks. What about rock? Rock, rock. Tree bed. Oh man, you really have to Hey, <laughs> what is this? Oh, I, I mean, I guess that works.
I, I don't understand how that works. <laughs> but whatever. Ah, oh, damn it. Hang on, get rid of that. Okay, well, there's another one. Okay, isn't that... Isn't this for set? But she was just outside. I wonder why she's in here, because it's expanding. seem to show where the others are. Okay, how did I do this one? Oh, it's sinking. That's why. Okay, hang on. I've got to be smart about this. not what I'm trying to do. What do you mean? <laughs> How did that work? Um, okay. I have no idea how I just pulled what I just pulled. How I did how I did it before. Okay, one thing that's annoying me right now. This thing's gotta go. Get out of here. Okay, it's gone. Oh, I think I remember how to do this. Hang on. So it was bad. Yeah, this way. Bad. Trampoline. Tree. Then second tree. Do it again. Okay, now. Trampoline. Okay. 
boulder. Tree. Damn it. Let it go. I think I just have to do that again. Boulder tree. Oh. Yeah. Boulder. Tree. Go. No. Why don't I just keep... Oh, but they crack, that's why. Oh, whatever. Maybe it's just this. Just keep climbing trees. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> okay, hang on. I think it is actually this. It's too tall though. This is so weird. Like, I, I'm, I don't know if it's my analog stick or what, but... There we go. It just felt off. Okay, I, see, I recognize this. This is like the desert palace from A Link to the Past. This one's going to be fun. Hopefully it warps me back. We found all my friends in this area. Now we can mend this rift. Okay, it did. My friends shared some of their power with me. Oh. 
Not a lot. You got two unusual crystals. Zelda, let's get back to your world now. That must mean there's a, there's a lot of them. <laughs> That's all it gave me. Zelda. Ugh, where am I? Last I remember, I was pulled into a rift. Uh. You're awake. Oh, I'm so relieved. Everyone's back safely. Oh. She really did it. The rift, it's... It's gone. Oh. We saw it with our own eyes. Oh. What astonishing powers. Mm. Beset, what are you, where are you going? <laughs> we shouldn't leave the palace unguarded. I must hurry back. Mm. Oh, it's a phony. A big fat phony. What? What happened to me? No. For set. <laughs> there are two of you. Mm -hmm. Chief Sarah, Captain Donna, what has happened? Mm -hmm. We're wondering the same. How did you get here? Mm. I was I was looking into the rifts here in the in the desert. And then, oh yes, then I was pulled into a rift. I see. Chief Sira. I recommend extreme caution. She came out of the rift after all. She could be some kind of monster. You don't actually think I trust you, do you? You're not going anywhere. Oh damn. She didn't hesitate. Where did she go? She vanished. But she was a fraud after all. Beset made many questionable remarks ever since the rifts appeared. She spoke of a legend that promised defeating monsters would eliminate the rifts. Burying the entrance to the sanctum was also her idea. And she only suggested it once she heard that the rift in the forest had been eradicated. Now that I reflect upon it, she must have intended to keep Zelda away from the rift. But why? Because she didn't want the rifts, rifts to be fixed. All of her deceits were to that end. Oh. Zelda, although we were deceived by the false facet, I apologize for how she treated you. You have my permission to restore the entrance to the sanctum, and you have my blessing. I know it's selfish for me to ask, but you must use your power to help me and my people. Oh. All right. Ah. Thank you so much, Chief. Oh. The entrance to the sanctum sits at the base of a quicksand flow in the southern desert. The cave that drained the sand was plugged, causing the flow to submerge the entrance. Oh. Go speak to the guard at the cave. Tell her what has transpired. Oh. Yes, Chief Sira. <laughs> we did it! Once you're ready, please head to the sanctum. We're counting on you, Zelda. Okay. Alright. That is the logical stopping point for tonight. <laughs> As the next part is going to be a whole thing, I imagine. So it'll, it'll take like a couple of hours. Um, yeah. So that was tonight's session of this game. Um, it's cool. I like it so far. It's fun. Um, yeah, I'll be interested to see if I get to replace some of the ones that I'm using right now. I get the feeling that the one that I've chosen might be strong. I don't know, like... I appreciate the variety of choice, but I think for combat I may have found my favorite, but who knows, we'll see how it goes. At least there's ones that have utility, so... You'll definitely see some variety with this. Um, anyway, if you're watching us later on the VODs channel, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, hope you've enjoyed. And if you want to support the channel, just click the like button. It helps a lot. But we'll continue this next time.